Hi guys, it's Salston. Today we are going to take a look into Final Pair Lifetime Deal. This is not a full uh, review video because I'm not going to cover entire thing on Final Air because I will be focusing on Funnels Builder which is available for the Lifetime Deal and the Auto Responder feature is not available on the deal. So I just wanted to create a quick video to showcase all the elements inside the funnel section of this Lifetime Deal. So without even creating your own account or trial account, you can see all the things which is available for you okay now let's jump into the dashboard this is the dashboard as you can see uh, you can create a new campaign from your funnel can from here just give a name your video funnel something like that and you can give a group also and you can define the purpose of the funnel from here and go into the settings now you can give a few more details regarding the actions you have taken uh, you selected less so just give what are the emails some of the details and everything give the names and create funnel from here the funnel page will be mapped out you can map out all the different pages you want and you can edit these things uh, let me wait until to show that how that screen will look like for you basically now it's trying to map up all the different uh, page with the thank you and the opt-in you can see it shows the opt-in and thank you page and we can build these things and also we have the option to create new st uh, step for the year you can see then we can start linking that also here all these things are possible and also you can create a funnel uh, funnel url link all these things active these things these are basic explanatory if i try to go over there then i will need to explain all the funnels and everything but i assume you are already aware of it in this case i'm just going to focus on what is available inside the funnel builder to showcase those th options let me give this and give me one let me go here and year start by default they have two options which is available one a predefined template where you can select these things and you can also preview these things for example if you see a preview if they have already built it up according to several leads does not matter even if it talks about truck if you want to use it for something else just you come here change the logo change the background and the images and you can use it if you want so they have done couple of examples templates which you can just import it easily for example you all need to come here is click on use it and it will be automatically worked on that so that is how easy to use these things uh, let me for the sake of it let me take one of these example and i'll show you from there how you can build upon it and everything uh, let me see how this looks first uh, okay this looks good let me say whether i want to use this then all you need to do is click on use it and now what it will do is it will automatically import those elements and functionalities of that funnel page into this builder let's see wait and see to wait and also the first option i forgot to mention there is also an option where you don't want to use any of this instead you want to use the from the scratch without doing anything okay this is a basic funnel builder page where you have the responsive control for tablet uh, desktop tablet and mobile uh, please note in funnel builder you also have the option to customize how they were how they look in different devices for example in the tablet uh, i don't like this space but so i want to change this thing so i can drag and drop it all these things and if i directly go for example let me put it something like this and if i go into the mobile it won't automatically be gone to this place for example if i show you it stays there so we can customize how we want to make that elements look like for each devices according to the way we want so let me go back to the desktop version and you can control and how look it's how it will look like on different devices here and also you have the settings option you have your manage contents option where it basically gives a navigational like element and navigation of all the ele elements which is available on here and also seo settings is available where you can give meta uh, page title description keywords block search engine also allowed and also you have the image to give the meta of structured data all these things and javascript if you want to insert those things in header footer code good for analytical or any tracking information you want to do you have the option to do that from here and let me see custom css available background you can control the fonts which are available all these things from here and let's see integrations uh, route rules pop-up all these things are available pop-up you can then design go and create this 
uh, different kinds of pop-ups for example here then you can build these also from here all these options are available so that is everything under the settings and you have the save finish and publish these are the elements which is available inside you for to design your funnel page for example uh, i can build drag and drop a section uh, and inside that there is a blank section i can just drag and drop and come and drag it here and you can see automatically a new section has been uh, in inserted within this check, uh, section i can build anything i want for example i want to uh, change the background i just need to double click it i can give a background image url for example uh, i have taken uh, I opened up a background URL. I just need to copy paste it and it will automatically we can change the different si styles of the background image all these things I'm using a low quality image of web that's why and also we have the option to resize it the way we want the main differences in this uh, funnel uh, is rather than having a drag and drop builder we add something called a free form ability where we can adjust the way we want for example if i take a uh, heading and put it here rather than in a drag and build build you have predefined for a layout the way you want you can't adjust the sizes between them or you can't change these things only a certain level of flexibility will be available but the frozens will be good but in free form they have gone a bit step forward where you have the total control on where you want to exactly put this title for example i can put it here i can put it here i can control uh, the uh, styles and everything from here to this uh, test editing and i go here i go change the colors here and all these things and i can change the settings font all these options are available but the cool thing is looks like uh, i put the heading right around here where it's off and off let's say for example and if i go into the mobile same thing i can do that also here i can put it wherever i want and i can resize the element only on mobile for example let me show you in tablet I don't want these extra spaces this is good enough for me then I can do that here and if I go in the desktop it will be on the size which I meant for desktop and tablet so like that I can adjust everything for every different elements inside the funnel let me go back into the desktop mode so you have the option uh, section where you can give a background image or you can give a background color whichever the one you want for example you can go and you can give a url you can give all the different shadow options are available for each section delay uh, like an, an animated or on page uh, develop uh, load time and everything is possible and so, like that you can control with section shape is another option where you can come here and you can control the shapes also for possible from here let me click on it and you can see now we have the shape on everything like in a between a uh, between a, 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 rect, a, a square you can give any image url for example if i copy this url and put it here and you can see automatically here it's coming under that shape as well and also we have the option so these are the options available for the panel and checkout is where you will see all the different uh, sections if you are planning to build this panel to sell something then you have all the options like shipping billing card select all you need to do is just drag and drop whatever the thing you want and automatically that section will get filled up with relevant information once you set up all the details and see select bump up offers and also we have the total control of where we play, want to place the, all these things we are not predefined to some def or default layout we ra rather we have all the option to set it up the way we want so all these things are available under the checkout and button is a similar story and let me uh, let me delete this otherwise it just keeps on coming messy uh, if i'm building any major section it will ask for the delete so make sure that it's not a mistake or something like that let me drag and drop another blank uh, section so i can show gus let me wait and do this okay and now let me go into the button where you have the button control where you have the option to edit all the way you want for example sizes color size and do you want a 3d button or action all these things are available from here and 
text is similar where you can put uh, similar this is not a uh, need to be explanatory basically you have the total control of the settings to create a paragraph and you can do this as you want and form uh, adding also similar where you can control whether is it h2 h1 or something like that all these things are possible from here form is where you create form elements for example diag here and i want a input area here i want to have a text area here and then you can link it to the options all these options are available for you and image is similar with uh, what i already show you you can upload it or you can search on the free library from here or you can import it from here you can also give all text for the images and everything from here and video same story multi-step also you can create multi-step uh, i'm not sure how the multi-step work the, as i told you i'm not uh, fully into this uh, but let's see what are the options is give here okay uh, step one uh, i will try to do a bit more research i'm not sure about the multi-stage yet uh, apart from that we get the counter uh, counting down time set up for the pages of funnels all these options are available progress also we are getting it you can see the progress amount all these things and social uh, uh, social sharing options are available comment where you can embed comment into the pages of the facebook using and also we have the html widget where we want to put our exclusive html code something which we are done we can do that also so these are the main elements within the funnel builder i just wanted to make a quick video to showcase us the, all the elements so you can understand how something is built and if you have imported this you can obviously go and edit all these things for example uh, if it's an imported image you can just replace these all these things are possible also from here and you can see all the things so basically without any coding knowledge with using this funnel builder it's easy to replicate a built built website with the, all the changes you can see and you are the main thing is you don't need to worry about the padding margin and everything when we are developing it's a technical web development codes instead you can use their free range uh, automatically to make all the edits and everything from that you can go and do all these things i hope this video was useful and once again thank you so much and i hope you have a great day cheers